Ice cream lovers, my name is Steve Christensen, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. I'm here to report on the best gelato in the world. Before I do so, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is the Ice Cream Club. Rich and Heather Draper, well, you could say that they have the best ice cream in the world. They make it for you. You don't have to worry about buying batch freezers, pasteurizers. You can buy tubs of ice cream from the Ice Cream Club. They're based in Florida. Great people. They'll certainly help you with your plans. The link is down below theicecreamclub.com. We thank them for their episode sponsorship. Okay, so let's talk about the greatest gelato in the world. So I once asked a lady in New York City, we were filming, and I said, what is the best gelato in the world? And she said, Berthion in Paris is the best gelato in the world. And I said, wow, that's a pretty big call. So anyway, I ended up in Paris with my wife. Uh, we stopped into Berthion. And it actually was incredible gelato, but it was within the shadows of the Notre Dame Cathedral. And I'm a, a fervent believer that your ice cream experience is basically accented or um, boosted by your surroundings. So here we find ourselves uh, on North Stradbroke Island, Point Lookout, a couple of ice cream shops, gelato places behind me. It's very good gelato. But if we just pan this way, what you're going to do is find, apart from some onlookers, one of the greatest coastlines in the world. Again, it's on the eastern side of North Stradbroke Island. We just went for a bit of a walk here, saw dolphins, we saw whales. This view is absolutely incredible. It's a million dollar view. You sit down here, you look at this view, you go on a walk, you have the dolphins, and then you go over here, and you can either go to Delizia, a gelato here, you can go to the Oceanic Gelato and Coffee Bar here. And I'm a firm believer that this whole process of ice cream and frozen dessert is only or more accented by the surroundings, where you are, what you're seeing, the beautiful sea breeze that's happening here. That's part of the process that makes gelato and really any food much more memorable. Uh, it's the organoleptic experience. You're using all of the senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, uh, and having this wonderful time here in one of the most beautiful places in the world. And you're basically topping it off with some uh, beautiful gelato. It's melting quite rapidly. Is this the best gelato in the world? I don't know. Is this one of the best experiences in the world? In one of the most beautiful places in the world? Absolutely. Consider that when you're considering opening up an ice cream frozen dessert place. It is about ice cream and it is about menu and customer service, but a lot of times it can be about what's around you and what's accenting your ice cream experience. Anyway, food for thought, gelato for thought. Thank you again to our episode sponsor, the Ice Cream Club, Rich and Heather Draper. And if you have any questions, um, problems, even if you just want to make a comment, right down below here. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.